everyone, Shea Bear 1000 here today. I'm going to show you how to put these new sink baskets in. And we'll do this from start to finish. I'm going to do some drain work. Um, I won't touch too much on that because all drains are, the drains are different, you know, they're configured different. But I will show you what, what we got in case you have something similar. But the main purpose is for this here, and I'll be showing you what we're going to be using. Stick around, you don't want to miss it. Okay, guys and gals, <coughs> excuse me, we're going to be putting these in our new sink. We got these, they're, they're kind of cool. You just spin them out and you can just take your stuff out. Less chance of clogging your drains up. These are stainless steel. Uh, they look pretty decent. Um, these pieces will be going on to the drain, so we're going to go ahead and take these out right now because we don't need them just yet. Um, it does it does not come with this piece this came with the new parts that we got because our old parts were just nasty and we're, we're doing everything else new and for 15 bucks we bought all our dream pipes that we needed um, these are a little pricey they're like 24 bucks a piece but I just uh, you know just I just like them the way they were the way you know these baskets are for her she she's the one that does the dishes and she liked them and we thought that'd be neat so like i said and it kind of helps keep stuff from going down in there that you don't want going down in there okay so onto these you're just going to take this big nut off here that's what this wrench is for you don't need that wrench but i bought it because well they're cheap i think it was like nine or ten bucks a day's hardware okay now what you're going to get here is you're going to get you're going to get this little thing here it's just a little piece of cardboard and your gasket now when you go to put this on and tighten it up i'll show you once we get underneath the stove this goes on here like this what that does is it keeps it keeps this from grabbing that rubber washer and ripping it that's all that does so if you get one and it don't have one on it, don't be all, don't you don't have to freak out because you got to drive 20 miles and you live out in the sticks to get this. Now you can make one of these out of cardboard, just get the thinnest cardboard you can. Or what I have done in the past when I have ripped these, taken them out, and I had no way to the store, the parts store, I've done it a couple times. Um, you don't want to use grease or oil. Now you can use Vaseline on these just on the part that that this ring is going to touch you can put Vaseline on them you can put Crisco I've even heard of butter but you can use cooking oil just something that's not going to eat this up so you don't want to use like axle grease on it um, and then what that does is help that slide on there so it doesn't oops so it doesn't twist and rip that so it'll just get just gives us a smooth surface to glide on that's all this does so yes and you can make them if you got a thin enough piece of cardboard now a buddy of mine I seen him making one out of a Pepsi box or coke box I guess a cereal box would work and it worked for him I mean just to keep that from ripping okay so we're going to take these off I'm just going to show you how I'm going to do one of these and then I'll prep the other one and get it ready and we'll get it put in I'll do that off camera I'm just going to show you the one because the other one's just the same exact way we're going to take this off first okay then we'll get to the other stuff now we got this plumber's putty of course you've seen I got this at Ace it was like four bucks and what you're going to do because this stuff it does not have a shelf life I mean a couple months it's going to be dry I don't care what you do with it it does dry out now you're going to get you get your heaping helping of this stuff um, I usually like to use the uh, the stain free the stuff it's not supposed to stain but um, it was like two dollars more than that and you got less so so what I'm gonna do just like play-doh 
we're just going to make a snake that's going to go around here and that's what's going to seal on the inside of the sink and that seals on the outside keep it from leaking and we're just going to get it warmed up make a nice snake to go around here make it kind of make it kind of big or you know kind of kind of thick see that's a little bit too thin there so I would say oh you know maybe quarter inch um, so just make you a nice good healthy bead to go around there pinch that all okay I'm just gonna start that like that just kind of make sure that it's going to get in there where it needs to be same way here if you want you can put a, another piece on there okay now remember guys I'm not a plumber I am a mechanic I'll do the same thing to the other one but uh, I'll do that off camera now I'm gonna show you how to put this one in okay okay as you can see we're at the sink I'm just going to take this make sure it's clean if you're using an old sink just make sure you clean it up there and I'm just going to stick this down in here and I'm going to push on that and you should see a healthy bit coming around out through there now we're going to go down underneath the sink I'll try to film that for you the best I can uh, if you guys saw the faucet video that was almost a catastrophe okay now we're going to go down underneath and I'll show you how to tighten them up okay guys as you can see we've got some some of this putty coming off down or that that squeezed out through there just take that just take it off with your finger all the way around there no big deal take it off now what we're going to do is we're going to put put our rubber washer on first then our little cardboard piece it's a they call it a friction ring we're going to start this up on here and just if it doesn't go turn it backwards a couple times and then go forwards and it'll go just don't cross that it should you should be able to if you're working with clean stuff you should just be able to flip that up there with your fingers just like that okay now we're going to go ahead and I try to keep it as centered as possible it's not that big of a deal it's just what I like to do okay now let me grab my I have to grab my uh, needle nose pliers I'll show you what them all oh, they're right here I'll show you what them are for now what we're going to do is we're going to take this little wrench here and what it does is it grabs them little tangs and I'm going to snug this up and I see it's wanting to turn so when you do that you can get somebody up on top if you want and you can stick these down through they also make a tool for this but these work just fine but, uh, so what I'm going to do I'm trying to get out of your guys' way okay I'm just going to stick these right up through them holes just like that and I'm going to hold it and I'm going to go ahead and tighten it up it's just got to go snug and that should be good to go there now I'm going to do the same thing on the other side and then I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with the plumbing I got some test fitted right there Whoops. right there okay so hang tight and I'll be back with you there we go and I'll show you what I'm going to do there now I forgot to mention once you do that just come up here take your finger and just um, just get that stuff and take it right it'll just peel right off now I might loosen that and move it back a little there we go there and then I'll go down I'll snug it up a little bit more when this is all done that's all you need to do and just wipe it out real good and that will not leak guys so I'm gonna go ahead and get the other one put in I'm gonna make sure this is snug and we should be good to go hang tight okay guys I'm gonna try my best to try to stay out of your way but here's that piece that goes up here on the drain now it's gonna take one of these it does come with it it's gonna go in to that just like that 
This one go in here. And we're just going to screw this up on here. Just like that. Do the same thing on this side here. Don't forget my little thing. There we go. Same way, if it feels like it's going on tight, um, screw it, like turn it backwards and then, okay, now we gotta figure out where our drains are gonna go. Okay, so this is gonna go Loosen that up a little bit. Now, all I did, I went to this plumbing place right down the end of our street, and I took him in all our old stuff, handed it to him. I said, I need all this stuff. He said, okay. Went around back. About one minute later, he was back. Gave me everything I needed. Okay, so we're gonna go like this. We're gonna tighten this up. I'm just gonna go snug right now, all right? Because now, as you can see, this, I'm just gonna go ahead and snug this so it kind of stays where I need it to be, and then I'll go over and, and make sure everything's tight. Okay, so what I'm gonna have to do here is I'm gonna have to use a piece of this, and I'm just gonna measure it and cut off what I need. And uh, this piece will slide up on top of here. And then it will slide, as you can see it gets narrower, and this piece will slide down into here. So it's gonna be out about, oh about wow, something like, well, wait a minute. What if, let's just try something here for a second. Well, we're not going to need this. So this is going to work beautifully. So this is going to go like this. And let me put our little doohickey here on. Just like this. I'm going to put this up here. See, the other one had two pieces here. So, now this one it just gets screwed on just the way it is and again same way with these things they should go they should go on pretty easy now we're going to snug all this up make sure everything's nice and tight now i've seen guys use pliers on these but i've never had to if you do there's probably an issue there's a little gasket, something similar to this. Um, you know, that could be the issue. It could just need cleaned. All right. But I always go, I just always go finger tight. Now, we should have everything tight. Let's go up on top. I'll turn the water on. You guys watch for leaks, okay? So, keep an eye out here. Now, let's turn the water on. I don't see any leaks, nothing's leaking yet. All right, let's try the other one, the other side. Nothing's leaking yet. This whole stuff was $15. Turns out I didn't need this, but I'm gonna save it. I mean, you never know later on, bathroom, who knows. Okay, so now we're gonna put the stoppers in show you how we do that now we're going to put the stoppers in here uh hang on let me get you on a regular tripod okay i think you guys can see okay so we're going to get our stoppers we're going to fill the sink up a little bit so these are that's all you do that's it you don't have to over tighten guys just just like that you don't have to torque them like you're torquing head bolts on a 455 big block Chevy so here we go what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this run I'm going to fill fill these up about halfway and then we're going to drain them and watch for leaks underneath 
Okay, so we've got these about half filled up. Didn't take very long. It you take forever with our other one. These are much deeper too, so I think she'll like that. So now what we're gonna do is start draining these, see if we got any leaks. So you can pull that clear out or you can just leave it there. There they go. Wow, that's draining a lot faster than it used to. And we got a leak. Okay, let's fix that. Okay, <laughs> let's try this again. I want to show you guys something too. Uh, my gearheads probably noticed I messed up a little bit ago. I said... A 455 Chevy. Chevy didn't have the 455. They had the 454. Buick and Olds had the 455. So, but anyway, you get the idea. Let's go ahead and take them out. Wow. That's really great. There we go. <laughs> See, there's a weight I was telling you about in the other one, in the other video. It just hangs on there like that. Some of them, they actually clamp on. There we go. Much better. Okay, now, uh, I'll show you guys something here in just a second. Wow, that, you know, that's not even, that's not even rubber, see? That's just uh, stainless steel. And I had the pipes off of there, and it wasn't leaking a bit. And I'll show you what what I'm talking about. Hang on just a second. Okay, so now the leak issue. Do you guys remember when I was talking about how important these things were? That's how important they are. <laughs> yes. Your old pal Shea Bear 1000 forgot to put one of these in. So there you go. Everything's good to go. Now the reason why, I'll show you something here. We went ahead and got all new parts. It wasn't because they were leaking or cracked. It's because, can you see inside there? That's all built up. Not sure what it is. But it's built up. Now, this I took out of the drain pipe there the waste trap pipe what it is I don't know but I figure it came out of these pipes so we just went ahead and got new ones for 15 bucks why not right so there you go guys that's how you do that just um, just remember don't forget that little ring I don't know what the hell I did with it but that ring I just showed you don't forget to put that in there <laughs> So we're good to go now everything's fine I'm gonna fill it up a couple more times to make sure there's no issues but other than that you should be good to go um, hey you know no scripting here <laughs> it's real life that happens because uh, remember I just dry fit everything stuck it up in there I forgot that one little that one little thing there so and that'll cause that so anyway guys I want to say thanks for watching appreciate it stay tuned for we got the backsplash coming in a week or two and uh we'll install that together once this is all done i'll i'll give you i'm sure monkey will too she may do hers before but i'll give you a whole tour of what what we've got going on she ordered some things for like my spices and for a bamboo thing organizer for your silverware and stuff she's gonna i think she's gonna film that uh, unboxing it and checking that stuff out so be sure to check her channel out and I'm sure she's going to give you a complete review of the kitchen. I still got to get the fridge back where it belongs and everything. And um, so just nitpicking stuff now. We're good to go. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this uh, as much as we did. And I uh, appreciate you watching. Don't forget to check out Monkey 1000 channel. Appreciate it. And I'm going to say Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. Don't forget that, guys. <laughs> we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, guys, and take care.